Hello everyone, this is Stone from Accelerate and in this video we're going to look into everything about bar charts and uh, we're going to start from level 1, from beginner level and we're going to gradually take it to the next level. So guys, it's going to be awesome tutorial, so stay tuned. If you find me for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's just here in the little corner here, so you can stay up to date from all the videos posted by the Pleb of Excel, this guy. Okay, bar charts. So, let's start off with the beginning. Uh, I started a, a nice new spreadsheet for us. So, let's populate some data. So, let's say we wanted to track some expenses. So, let's say we're tracking the expenses that we incurred in 2021. So, I'm just going to put in here and see uh, two uh, 2021 expenses. So, we wanted to have it do a breakdown on a monthly level. So, let's start off in C3 to say it's in January. And Excel is quite smart enough, so if you just put in uh, C Fury January, you can literally just drag this little handle. You'll see, I'm going to zoom in. It makes this little nice drop down handle, and we can effectively just drag it down up until we get to December. There we go. So at the end of the day, we've got our expenses here, we've got January here. And let's say in D2, we're going to track our actuals. So what did we actually incur? in the January. So let's say for argument's sake, uh, I'm just going to keep it simple, two, digit, two digits, so I'm going to say 12, 11, 10, uh, and so forth. Let's go for 10, uh, 5. I'm just populating random data. You can put in your own data here. And we are done. Let's put in 11 there. All right, so this is our actual data, and now we would like to have it presented uh, in a bar chart so we can quickly see where's the outliers, and uh, at the end of the day, we can quickly see uh, which month we spend the most and the least, and uh, we can make some insightful decisions next time uh, or the next year come around. Uh, so, very easy. We're going to highlight uh, up from uh, C2 up until D14. So you highlight the whole data set, you just drag it. So you just click C2, drag it up until D14. And what we're going to do is you're going to insert. So up above here, we're going to insert. And the very first chart option that they give us is a standard. Here we go. Standard uh, bar chart. Yeah, let's go for this, the clustered column. There we go. Awesome. So there you can see it already populated the, the name. So it's the actual. So what I would like us to do is we want to dynamically link the title first. So I'm going to zoom out here for us so that we can see what we're doing here. So we're going to click on actual. You just click it like it highlights this uh, blue uh, dots in the corner. And you're going to go to the formula bar and say equals. And we're going to click it to C2. So it should link to C2 there, and if you say enter, that will dynamically put in the title. So whatever changes here, it will be represented in our little bar chart here. So if, if for argument's sake, this was 2022's expenses, no need to change it manually, it will dynamically change to 2022. Quite nifty, awesome trick. I'm just gonna undo, so we've got 2021 expenses. All right, guys, so at the end of the day, we can quickly see, so let's say January was a 15 and we had like a, a two in June. So you can quickly see your, your outliers. You've got this there in Jan is the top one and the bottom one here in June. And what is also nice, you can see, you can add a nice trend line if you want to. You double click on the graph and you put in a, a, a add a chart element here in the corner and there should be a little, uh, line here that we can enter into as well there's the trend line and we want a nice linear so you can see actually we started off uh, top heavy and we went down a little bit and went up going into december and the trend line will show is a slight decrease in it so it's very nice so this was a level one quick bar chart and uh, this shows you the actuals you can quickly see your outliers very nice and uh, this was level two quite basic very interesting and uh, now we're going to level two 
So what are, do I mean by level two? We're going to add in another column for some data for us and we're going to represent it as well in the bar chart. So what I would like us to do is uh, what I'm going to do is going to shift over the bar chart that we created and we're going to put in some, let's say, some budget numbers. So I'm just going to add in a column. So you highlight column D, you go, you right click and you insert a column. So you're going to insert a column. Uh, please note that the, the data still shows the same. It's very nice. And uh, we're going to go into a budget here. So in D2, I'm going to put in a budget. So what did we actually plan to spend on the month as opposed to what actually happened? So this is, is going to give us some nice insights into uh, our budgeting process going into the future. So let's say for argument's sake, we just wanted to come in at a nice nine. So that is what we needed to do. I'm just going to put in another nine here. And Excel is quite smart again. So if you want to put in a nine for all those items, you don't have to manually type in the nine. You can literally the two, the first nines that you typed in, handlebar, take it down to December and it will effectively copy over the nine. So let's represent the budget within our file that we've got here or in the graph that we've got here. So I'm just going to double click and take away the trend line. We want to take away the trend line. So you just go into trend line, you go to none. So it takes away the trend line that we added previously. And what we can do is we're going to select the data, select the data, and we're going to add additional fields. So we're going to add, here we go. You can click on add. Then series name is D2 budget. So you will see it links to D2 and the series values. You can just take out all the contents here and you replace it to D3 up until D14. And you'll see it plots uh, an additional graph on the right hand side of the. So you can quickly see, oh, we actually budgeted nine here, but we came in at a 15. So something went wrong in January. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> we made it in Jan, maybe too much expenses. But yeah, here we can clearly see which are outliers, but it can get confusing quite quickly. So best practice from my side is the target or the, the budget line should also be, that shouldn't be a bar chart per se, but you can put it into a line chart. So let's change it up. We're going to change the chart type here. And what we can do is we can change it to a combo chart here. So uh, you can clearly see Excel is quite smart. It already plots the, the budget as a line here. But if it didn't, so it, you can say actuals uh, should be a clustered stack column and the budget should be a line. So you can just put in a line here. And if you say, okay, it will take away those bars that has been on the right hand side and now you can see where the budget was so let's say next year comes and we know we're going to spend a little bit more in january we can change the budget up and say okay let's say we should have gotten a 12 and effectively it will go to a 12 and if you take it into this level you can see it changes the budget effectively so very interesting and uh, i'm just going to undo this and uh, there you go so that was level two for bar charts and uh, very interesting that we can see the actuals and the line for the budget as well and now ladies and gentlemen we're going into level three so this is where it is going to get quite interesting as well i hope you stick along with this one this is going to be awesome so what we would like to do is let's say we didn't make budget so at the end of the day we went uh, over these we went one two three four five uh, columns that we went over budget we want to highlight if we went over or under the budget so let's see let's see if we can do this so i'm going to shift over our graph here you can drag your graph wherever you want to so let's say we can i'm just going to place it down here for just for now and let's say here in our in column f we're going to put in uh, let's say if we went over the budget and in g we're going to say under so we're going to change it up so at the end of the day we can say this is we're going to move into if formulas so let's say equals if 
open brackets if the actual is more, uh, more than sign more than what the budget was then you're going to give me if the value is true you're going to give me e3 and if the value is false you're going to just say in a open bracket close bracket and close bracket again so if you're going to say enter it should show the 15 so let's say we went under budget here so let's test the formula if it went to 8 it's going to show it in a year that's perfect that's exactly what we want and excel is quite smart you can drag this formula down and it will show you exactly the five uh, months that we went over budget okay so that's perfect for now we're not going to plot it yet because we still need to plot our under so let's go for under uh, let's say we want to show the under so it equals if open brackets if the actual was more uh, less than less than nine you're going to show comma if the value is true the actual and if it's false you're going to show us in a open bracket and close bracket and close bracket once again the close of the if formula and you're going to say enter so it should show it in a because it was over in this month and you're going to double click and something went wrong here oh so if it was precisely the budget then we're going to say we didn't go over it we stayed under so let's say it's not just a, a less than sign it can be also a equal sign so we can put it in here so if e3 which is the actual is less than or equals d3 then you're going to show us e3 otherwise in a you're going to say enter and if you double click it should become there we go so you can see all the columns has a number here with a na corresponding to where it didn't count so um i can confirm i think my uh, data set is complete here and now this is where the magic is going to begin so let's say we want to plot this as well so we're going to double click on our bar chart that we created already i'm going to shift it over here so we can see what we're doing i'm going to make it a little bit smaller and then uh, we can work from here all right so we're going to double click on it we're going to select the data what we're going to do here is in the actuals we're going to change up the actuals so we're going to go to edit so we will edit the you click on actuals and then on edit so what we're going to do is we're going to change the name to over and the sheet values we're going to take out and effectively let it highlight f3 to f14 and you're going to say okay see what happens now it takes away those other bars because it only has these five that they can go to so let's plot the other ones so we're going to add another value we're going to go add the series name is under and the series values will be from g3 up until g14 and we're going to say okay so let's have, but hang on stone this is a, a line graph this isn't what i wanted quick fix you're going to click on change chart type here once we're done and we're going to make sure that budget, uh, that under isn't a line it should also be a clustered stack here and we're going to say okay and how awesome is this it already shows uh, in which months we did under so if we track expenses and we're under budget we did good so i would like you click just on the one gray bar or whatever color and we're going to fill it and we're going to give us a solid fill and if we did it good i'm going to go with green and if we did bad on the other one you just click on it highlight and we're going to say okay let's go for an orange and if you want to change the line we're going to change the line uh, let's go for uh, a nice uh, let's go for a gray a nice gray color here let's go for a dark gray color and there we go we effectively changed the bar chart so let's say in january we actually did good so actually we went under budget so let's say we put in an eight year you will see changes to a green and uh, how awesome is this and now we can show this formula is working 
and this bar chart effectively changes as we go along. We made over and under budget and uh, this is very awesome. And now a little bonus tip for our teachers that's watching the video. So let's say we're not working with finances. Let's say we're working with some test scores. So let's say instead of 2021 expenses, let's say it's 2021 test scores. Interesting. So it will change test scores and it's not going to be January to December. It's going to be, let's say, test one to let's go for or oh, whatever test 12 let's go for tests so you will see uh, tests being populated here below as well and uh, now instead of budget we say pass rate so at the end of the day let's say 50 percent was the pass rate for this test and so forth you can just click on it double click it looks a little bit funky now but let's say uh, the actual was whatever was scored uh, by the student so let's say um, this student scored a 70% on this one a 60% on the second one and a 50% I'm making the percentage signs by putting a shift and a 5 to get the percentages and now you can just right click I'm gonna copy I'm just gonna paste these ones and right click so now you can clearly see oh but now it need to be switched over because if you didn't make the pass rate then it's bad and if you did it's good so you click on the ones that they did did well on so you double click on the stack or on the graph click on the bar and now the fill needs to be reversed it's green if you're over the pass rate and if you're uh, down it then you can say okay it's a uh, 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 a nice orange there if you didn't make it or well at the, and you can also highlight from F3 to G14 and you can just say percentage here to go into a percentage here and it will also automatically change the percentage here as well what is interesting to note is if you did make 50% you're actually uh, you passed and in this formula it shows you didn't pass so let's change it up so in over if you are more than or equals the the pass rate then you should be fine and uh, you can double click that and it will change it up but now the under will you have to take out the equal sign so you take out the equal sign press enter and you double click that formula and now you see this student actually made all all of their tests uh, well even though it's just on the on the brink but let's say for test six the student unfortunately got a 40 percent it will still show uh, this test they didn't make it so for the teachers out there this is also quite nifty visualization of the scores that you get for your students and uh, yeah tracking some uh, special percentages for them as well and uh, guys i really hope you like this tutorial this is everything bar charts currently and uh, we went from level one to level two to level three and a little bonus tip for your teachers out there uh, tracking percentages as well and uh, i really hope you like this content please hit this little subscribe button just here down below and uh, to stay tuned from the pleb of excel this guy guys i'll see you next time 